Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in our entity, we are going to use date types. Then we are going to see how we can fetch only the date, how we can fetch only the timestamp and how we can fetch the combination with the help of temporal annotation in Spring Boot. Okay, so let's get into this directly. I have one entity called shop here okay if you get inside this you could see here there is an entity called shop details here i am using a column called date where i am taking the new date okay what will happen if i if i you know uh, insert a record so the date will be there along with the timestamp right so let's see that directly here so before to that i have already created a uh in controller here i'm going to use this controller if you see here this is a service method right get inside this service method i am trying to save here from the list we are getting from here right and here i simply creating a entity i'm adding to the list and returning okay that is what i am doing right now my server is up and running now, if I hit this, what will happen is I'm getting 200, right? That is cool. Now, if I go here and uh, refresh this. Okay. Now, I should be having, okay, let me refresh. It's not there, is it? Yeah, now you could see here we got the date along with the timestamp, right? That I don't want. I want only till the date 2024.01.10. What I need to do here, there is an annotation called temporal annotation, guys. That we can use it here. Let me take something called temporal and here. You could see temporal type dot date. There were three annotations are there date, time, and timestamp. If you use date, what will happen is okay, let me rerun this first. Yeah, so if you let me copy this value entirely and put it in the notepad so that I can explain more clearly. Yeah, so this is a value, isn't it? In this value, if I take date only, this particular date will be stored. And if I take the time only, this particular value will be stored. If I take the timestamp, like this value will be stored. Okay, that is a great use of temporal annotation in Spring Boot. Okay, so this temporal annotation you should use only with the date combination. Nothing other uh, can be allowed only with the date combination. You can give it a try. Okay, so now you could see mine is up and running. Let me send the request. Now request went successfully. Refresh this. Now you could see we got the proper date, right? Now, what I'll do is instead of date, I'll simply use the type. Okay. Click on save, refresh. Okay. Then what will happen if I click, if I take only the time, then the date value will be, you know, uh, vomited and the, this only the time value should be saved. Okay. Let's see that whether it is happening or not let's see that okay but you should remember one thing guys temporal is can be used only with the combination of dates no other uh, field is allowed to use the temporal type okay so now you could see our application is started now click on send 200 let me refresh this now you could see we are getting only the time right now if i take timestamp the 
the first one will come this is the default implementation basically okay timestamp this is the default implementation right so this is a simple example of temporal annotation guys hope it's useful for you guys thank you so much for watching thank you